Are you trying to add alerts to your live stream like this? Stick around, I'll show you how to do it. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am GenX, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up alerts for your live streams. Rather it be a follow, a subscribe, or when somebody donates to you, it's nice to have alerts pop up on the screen. That way everybody can kind of share that moment together. It's also a nice way to show your brand off. If you're not sure what branding is or you're having trouble branding your channel, go ahead and check out this video right here. I made it a while back. It's a little cheesy, but it definitely has wonderful information on how to brand your channel. When you're done watching the video, if it helped you out at all, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below, you guys. I know I talk about this every video and it's super cringe, but it helps my videos reach a larger audience and it helps me grow on YouTube. And I appreciate every single comment that you guys have left in the last week or so. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's show you guys how to do this. All right, to get started, we're gonna go ahead and go to streamlabs.com's dashboard, you guys. I'll have the link in the description below for you as well. I don't use Streamlabs for live streaming anymore. I use OBS Studios. That's why I make all my videos about OBS. But Streamlabs dashboard has a lot of value and I still incorporate that into my live streams. Once you're at the dashboard, go ahead and log into where you're gonna be streaming from. For this video, I'm gonna log into my Twitch account. All right, once you're on your alert box control page, you will see that it has tabs for all different types of alerts, follows, subscriptions, donations, when somebody hosts or donates bits, or when somebody raids your channel. You can change the alert and sounds for each type of activity that happens on your channel. To get started, go ahead and click on follows. Make sure that it's enabled, and then you can change your layout. Do you want the image to be on top of the text? Do you want the text to be within the image, or do you want the image next to the text? I like the image on top with the text on the bottom. You could choose animations for your alerts and which they come in. I like to fade in and fade out. There's different types of animation options that you guys can try to toggle with and mess with. In the message template, you're gonna put what text you guys want to pop up. In brackets, it'll have name, so the person's name will pop up. And you can add whatever custom message you want when somebody follows you right here. You could set an animation for the text in which it comes in. Like I said, there's a lot of options for some of these, you guys. You could just mess around and find one that you like. Once you select one, it'll show you in sample text what the animation will actually do to your text when the alert pops up. Next, you're gonna select the image that pops up for your alert, you guys, okay? You can either take an image off of your computer and load it just by clicking this right here, or you could copy and paste a URL from an image anywhere on the internet and just paste it right here. All right, for this video, we're gonna go to Jiffy.com. That's where I get all my GIFs from. I'm sure you guys go other places, but Jiffy.com is a wonderful place to get free GIFs from. In the search box, I'm gonna type follow. When you find the image you want, just click on it. Click on share, copy GIF link, then go back to Streamlabs. Click on link image, paste your link, click submit and it will show your GIF right there now. You can also add an audio file to pop up every time that you guys get followed. You click select audio right here, you guys. There are tons of stock audio options inside here. Some of them are free, some of them are not. Go ahead and find an alert that you like and go ahead and select it. Once you're done adding your sound, you can go ahead and add a volume for your sound. Keep in mind, you guys, that you don't want your alerts to be too loud, but you'd also want them loud enough so everybody can hear them. Alert duration is the amount of time that the alert will show up on the screen. You could set it anywhere from two seconds all the way up to five minutes. I don't know why you'd want an alert on your screen for five minutes, but you can. I'm gonna set mine for five seconds. Next, you have alert text delay option. This basically gives you an option to show your text at a delay behind your image. If you want your text and your image to show at the same time, you set it at zero seconds. Enable custom HTML CSS option is for advanced users. If you guys know coding and you guys wanna code in your alerts, go ahead and do it right here. If you click this plus sign next to open font settings, you can choose what color your text show up in, and you can also choose what font type they show up in, and the size of the font, and also the thickness of the font as well. When you're done with your follow alert, go ahead and click save. Now to add this to your OBS, what you guys are gonna do is go up here to where it says click to copy widget URL. Go ahead and click it. If you're prompted about this safety message, go ahead and click copy. 
It just wants to let you know not to share this with anybody. Once you have that copy, let's head on over to OBS. Once you guys are in OBS, go ahead and create a new scene and rename it Alert Nest. Once you have your new scene added, go ahead and click the plus sign and select Browser. Select Create New and name it Alert. Then click OK. In the URL box, we're going to paste the URL that we just got from the Streamlabs dashboard. And then select Control Audio via OBS. The reason why we do that is when we select OK, it'll show our alerts in here and we can control the volume of the alerts inside OBS. Now you can drag the size of the box to be whatever size you want and you can drag it to wherever location you want on your screen. Now we can go ahead and test our alerts. Go back to Streamlabs dashboard and if you click test follow, it should now show up on your overlay. You could use that test in order to resize your image and move it to another location. Now you guys can head back to the Streamlabs dashboard and you can go to the other tabs that we talked about earlier and we can customize each one of the alerts that you're going to receive. You've already added the widget to your OBS so you don't have to add it again, you guys. Once you're done setting up all your alerts, you guys, now you can add this nest to any of your live scenes. All you have to do is click the plus sign, add scene, select your alert nest, and click OK. Now it'll have your alert overlay on this scene. And if you ever want to adjust the alert location and size, you just go back to your alert nest and change the size of it and the location of it. Well, that's it, you guys. It's as easy as that to set up alerts on your live streams. If this video helped you out at all, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a nice comment in the comment section below. We'll see you guys next time. And remember, don't be toxic. Spread positivity.